What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video we're talking about affordable luxury. We're talking about some niche fragrances that can be found for under $100 USD. So you don't always have to pay top dollar to get some higher level fragrances. You know, a cut above your standard Macy's designers that you'll find from companies like YSL, Dior, and so on. So in this video I've compiled a list of 10 and I'm going to have links to where you can find them for under $100 down below in the description. So let's get into it. Stay tuned. We have to start things off with what I believe to be the best buy of them all for under a hundred bucks. We're talking about Mancera's Cidre Boisse. This is kind of a must-have, in my opinion. So you're going to get a sharp lemon, a sweet, fruity tone, as well as some dry woods, a little touch of leather. Oh, it's just full of fruits. Black currant for this tart, bitter tone. There's an actual fruity notes accord, and like I said, very sharp lemon. A lot of woods, woody, cedar wood, vetiver type of thing going on here. Doesn't really have much of a smoky feel, more of a dark fruit, if you will. I think that's due to this black currant feel that it has. It even has a little bit of this like grapes and apples kind of thing going on. It's lovely stuff. Hyper versatile, great performer while not being a monster performer. Modern formulations of this tend to fall in the six to eight hour range for the most part. I kind of get about eight or nine hours in longevity out of this. This is right before they switch to magnetic caps. Still a screw cap design, uh, but this one compliment magnet. Great for dates, great for work. Doesn't matter, summer, winter, and everything in between. This is great stuff and kind of the best of the bunch, in my opinion. One of the most versatile, great luxury fragrance that can be found well under 100, Mancera Strapoise. Now, if you want something that's extremely fresh, this is actually my favorite from this brand. A lot of their fragrances can be found under $100 USD. From discounters, we're talking about Aqua de Parma, and this is Colonia Pura. I'm a huge fan of this one. This is actually my favorite from the house. Uh, so this one has a kind of a photorealistic citrus, white floral neroli touch, some fresh greens, I believe there's a little bit of pedigree in there with a soft wood. Um, and I wanna say there's some jasmine aside from just the neroli, but this is really, really good stuff. Just springtime in a bottle. Obviously this works well in the summertime, early fall, depending on the climate you're in. If you're in a warmer climate, you could probably get away with this one year round. Not a powerhouse performer, but there's a lot of natural oils being used here, a lot of natural ingredients. So you have that photorealistic smell to some of the citruses and the florals, like I was saying at the beginning of this segment. So this is one that I strongly encourage you to check out. Decent performer though. I get about five to six hours of longevity on skin. Very bright, very relaxing, soothing, classy casual in many ways is kind of how I would best describe this scent profile, but definitely worth checking out for under $100 from discounters, Aqua de Parma, Colonia Pura. Clementine, orange, pepper, and a little bit of fresh greens. We're talking about Atelier Cologne, Clementine, California. So this is a recent acquisition. I'm actually currently testing this one to do a collaboration review on this channel with my buddy Chad from A Gentleman's Journey at the recording of this. And this is so watery, fresh, and bright. The pepper is not overdone here. Oh, but it is lovely. This is such a good scent, guys. And this one is another one where they use high-level ingredients as a luxury fragrance should. 92% of the ingredients are natural origin. So beautiful. So you will get a little bit of a lime feel from this Clementine. It's notoriously kind of this sticky lime type of smell. A little bit of orange in here as well. I believe there's some mandarin, and black pepper, greens, and a watery accord. This is so mouth-watering fresh. It's unbelievable. For being a pure parfum high oil concentration, the way this comes across, it doesn't make it creamy. It still provides this bright, watery feel that is just so delectable and perfect on a super hot day. Uh, I now have four fragrances of the recording of this from this brand and uh, kind of a best kept secret in many ways because they don't get a lot of hype because they're not real performance monsters but when it comes to natural perfumery just beautiful ingredients and and compositions this is an underrated house that you can get 100 ml in like 60 to 80 dollar range depending on the fragrance and depending on where you get it from but definitely worth getting into and this might be the best of the bunch at least of what i've tried is atelier cologne clementine california 
Another one that's a very recent acquisition, 50 ml will run you in the 60 some odd dollar price range. So typically 60 to $85, depending on where you find it. But Aqua Sextius from Julemad, let me get this to focus. This is such a good fig fragrance. Some beautiful watery notes, fruits, fig, greens. It's got this tropical feel, a little bitter, a little bit salty. This is lovely. This is, like I said, recent pickup. I haven't spent a ton of time with it, but it's one that just makes you feel good. This is a feel-good fragrance, a mood booster, if you will. Warmer climates will get plenty of use out of this one. Performances, kind of in the average range. Nothing spectacular. Not going to overwhelm anyone or win any longevity awards for just being the Energizer Bunny and keeping on going. Kind of in that six to eight hour range is what I've been clocking this one at in the limited time I've been spending with it so far. But if you're a fan of Fig, this is one to go after, which I've gotten a lot of fig fragrance recently. Um, it was kind of difficult to keep fig fragrances off this list. I got a lot of affordable niche fig based fragrances that are just outrageously good. But I kind of went with the newest and one that gets me most excited of the group that I've gotten recently. And that would be this one. I love the design of the bottle. It's half frosted, half translucent. Quality presentation. Obviously, it's not the most important thing in the world, but... When you're into perfumery the way that you and I are, especially you as a regular viewer of YouTube fragrance content, you appreciate stuff like this, especially from a fragrance that you can get for an affordable price, less than most designers at retail these days. So like I said, once again, if you're into fig and you want this kind of bitter, fruity and salty aquatic feel, a little tropical in many ways, you might want to check out Jules Mod. This is Aqua Sextius. One that just does not get any love and is probably one of, if not possibly the most versatile from the house because they're known for their artistry. They like to recreate kind of odd scenarios and scent profiles, but we're talking about Italie Derange. This is Remarkable People. Remarkable People is a very bright, aromatic, and juicy fragrance, grapefruit, lemon type of citrus with a champagne note. Offers this bright, effervescent, watery feel a little bit of a lavender tone though i don't remember if lavender's in here but it's a very aromatic feel oh super super versatile and fresh and just enjoyable perfectly unisex doesn't lean either way and doesn't really smell like a bunch of other things i think this kind of fizzy champagne note a little bit of the bubbly if you will uh kind of separates this one so it really works well with the citruses used here, uh, there's a nice woody tone. It's a little clean and musky as it dries. It's not groundbreaking, super unique and artistic, but for what it is, it's slightly unique. I have to say, I don't have anything else in this large collection of fragrances that smells even all that much close to what Remarkable People does. This is actually my favorite fragrance from the house. I have four or five from them now, and this stands head and shoulders above the rest because... I'm a sucker for a great versatile fragrance, and coming from them, there's not a ton that are super versatile, uh, at least to my knowledge, but Remarkable People, probably the most versatile of the bunch, you can get it in the range of like $70 to $80 from discounters. Just beautiful stuff. Give it a shot. Ital Libre d'Orange, Remarkable People. Now, this is a recent acquisition that I had a decant of Lavender Extreme from Tom Ford, and I heard they pretty much replicated this fragrance. And you can get this one way cheaper than the Tom Ford. So I said, let me give it a go. And you know what? It is pretty damn close. It's from Molinard. This is called Lavande. So Lavande is a beautiful creamy and powdery type of lavender, more so than soapy, with a lot of vanilla, tonka bean type of smell, with some slight earthy tones. I believe it's a little bit of patchouli, but it's more of a green and creamy type of patchouli than something dirty and earthy. That is lovely and elegant. It's... It's a soft, powdery, sweet, and aromatic fragrance. Very classy, very elegant stuff. A little cloying. It's one of those fragrances that if you try to wear this in the high heat during the day, out here in Florida, you know, you know 107 degrees feels like temperature, not going to be a good choice. But evenings, formal occasions, spring, fall, winter, daytime, though, I would, you know, recommend this in a slightly dressier situation, maybe semi-casual, semi-formal. Not a, really a t-shirt fragrance, but I think if you're just a fan of lavender and vanilla, you'll probably enjoy it. You have to like powdery, though. This is definitely a creamy, powdery fragrance that offers that elegance to it that some 
passers-by may think it's baby powder, don't get me wrong, but if you can spend a little time and kind of live in this sillage for a bit, you'll probably end up like I am, where you can really appreciate the characteristics of this fragrance that offer just this elegant feel, and it's kind of like the way to wear lavender, I guess you could say. This is such a beautiful quality, powdery, not soapy lavender, and that's what I like, because there's so many lavenders out there that smell like soap that it's nice to come across one that just offers this nice flowery powdery tone to go with this vanillic sweetness. Just a beautiful, beautiful elegance in a bottle and super affordable. I paid right, right around 50 bucks for Levon from Molinard. Now, if you grew up in the 90s like I did, there's a really good chance you're a fan of Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. Tommy Cologne, as it's known. Well, fortunately for me, who finds that to be the most nostalgic fragrance of all, there's a fragrance that's niche, still pretty affordable, it smells really close to it. It's from Montal, and this is called Fougeres Marine. So Fougeres Marine ha is dominated with oak moss. That's where you get your green feel, but there's this fresh water accord that freshens it up, makes it very fresh, spicy, and green, which is kind of the main accords you can expect from Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. Um, a little musky and woody, but mainly this dominance of sh this like sheeper feel from oak moss spicy green watery fresh and musky there it is super versatile can dress up can dress down smells like the 90s which is tommy i know for a lot of people aqua de joe is that fragrance maybe for you it's issy miyaki lo desi porom maybe it's ck1 all of those are kind of quintessential 90s but for me Tommy Cologne, Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger, because reason being, it was the first fragrance I ever really wanted as a kid. It was like fifth or sixth grade. I asked my parents for it for Christmas and got my first fragrance gift set back then. So Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger, special to me. This is niche Tommy. It opens up super close, admittedly dries down a little different, but I would say it's like 90% Tommy in the opening and then dries down kind of 75, 80%, but close enough. And anybody that's a fan of that fragrance, you owe it to yourself to get what I consider to be the niche version of Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. And you can get it for around 70-ish dollars, roughly. This is a tester. That's why it's got this going through the head of the atomizer instead of the collar, because it comes in a white tester box. But it's the same juice. It's a powerhouse. It's way better performance than Tommy by Tommy Hilfiger. But I encourage you, check it out if you're a fan, if you, especially if you like oak moss, because it's pretty much an oak moss bomb. Montal, Fougeres Marine. This next one took me by surprise. Uh, right around 50-ish dollars, 40-something dollars, 50 dollars. I forgot exactly what I paid for from Fragrance Buy. It's in the link below. Uh, it's a 50 ml from Jacques Foth, and it's full of character. Loads of character. Citruses, aquatic notes. There's ambroxan. There's spices. There's lemon. There's greens. It's got that Timeless masculine scent profile with some modern nuances, such as the Ambroxan. This is Jacques Fath Velessou. So, I think I'm the only person on the internet that talks about this one. I haven't really seeked out a lot of content on it, but outside of myself, I don't recall ever seeing anybody discuss it. Over the years, I don't know. But it's lovely. It's such a spicy green... It's a, like a classic aromatic fougere, barbershop feel, with, like I said, some of this modern feel synthetics like Embroxin that offers some pushing power. There it is. It's some staying power. Spicy greens, kind of a basil feel, a little creamy, soft powdery, watery fresh, lemon, creamy, creamy lemon feel. Barbershop. Like all of this stuff's going on. It's a busy fragrance, but it's quality. It performs really well and it's super affordable. 50 ml like this will go a long way and then look at, look at the power of this this magnet. Let me just do this. I'll just look. Crazy strong quality. I love the caps. This is hefty and crazy strong magnet. Great atomizer. Dense, thick glass bottles and quality ingredients. Great performance for the most part. I have four fragrances from them now. Um, this is a great performer, and this is a timeless style. Like I said, if you like any of those classic masculine fragrances, this, like I said before, has that little modern twist and touch, that little something extra to separate it just enough from the other fragrances that this is kind of redundant to. Think your Eau Sauvages and your Danger Parfum Colognes from Raja Parfums. Like I put it kind of in the realm of those, 
with its own little something extra, if you will. So beautiful stuff, gets no love, Jacques Foth Velasseau. Now I have three fragrances and a bunch of different samples from this house. And you can find these in the like $50, $60 range. Quality stuff out of France. Uh, they number their fragrances. That's I like, I like how it is. Very uniform, clean presentation style, quality ingredients. Simplistic and straightforward, but smell great. Fragrances from Bon Parfumer. Specifically, we're going to talk about 301 here. So, Ombre, Cardamom, Santal. So, Amber, Sandalwood, and Cardamom. That is the main things you're going to smell. It's warm, it's spicy, and it's a creamy wood. A little on the dry side for the wood, too. Makes me think that there's a little bit of maybe some nutmeg hiding in here as well that kind of dries the fragrance out, but this is such a beautiful fragrance that deserves some attention. I have 801, I have 601. 601 is kind of a fresh vetiver. 801 is a airy sea spray. Uh, aquatic breezy type of fragrance but this is that more cooler weather business professional amber toned fragrance not too not too spicy but definitely warm spicy it's a woody spicy fragrance i guess is the easiest way for me to put that performance is above average without being some obnoxious beast though i would be mindful of the sprays because it is on the drier side of my dry your sinuses out even because uh, it, it's that dry of a fragrance but man, is this some good, good stuff. I encourage you, if you haven't dove into anything from this house, even if it's not 301, try some stuff from them. Get some of their samples. But you can get their fragrances super cheap and their nice quality luxury scents. Again, that's Barn Parfumer, 301. Now, this last one online, you can get them in the $40 range. I was lucky enough to find this at a Ross Dress for Less for $20 recently. You want to talk about a steal for clean classic, pure soap. This does smell of a luxury bar of soap, like some quality shampoo and conditioner and lathered soap, like all those things, bath products, but higher level for sure. It smells like lathered soap, a little bit of luxury from, from like this jasmine feel. There's a lot of florals here. It does lean a little feminine, a little powdery, don't get me wrong, but beautiful. Me and my wife both enjoy this fragrance. Uh, it was an absolute steal for the 60 ml at 20 bucks. Like I said, you can find it from discounters in the 40 to $50 range. And I think it's a great price there because performance is really good. And the, the raw materials, the ingredients used here, you can tell are some quality oils. It's very believable. Oh, it does. Pure soap. It's a soapy, you have to like soapy fragrances, obviously, but a luxury soapy fragrance. And I don't mean Prada luxury soap either, because Prada, as far as the designer market, nobody does soapy like them. You guys, some of you have heard me say that a hundred times. And it's true, when it comes to designers, nobody does soapy lavender, neroli, iris, just soapy. From the designer side, they're the best at it. Well, I have to say this might be my favorite niche luxury soap fragrance, because that's what they were going for, was soap. And it doesn't smell simple like just being bar soap, like Dove bar soap. It doesn't smell as simple as the presentation and the name might lead you to believe. There is some depth and some character here with a variety of florals, a light spice, an airy ozonic feel, a soft wood, a clean musk. This fragrance has it going on. Very impressed. I've had it for about two weeks now and I debated on other fragrances in this video and I was like you know what no this was such a great find it deserves a spot I want to talk about it so here we go I would encourage you check out more fragrances from clean I'm gonna check out more fragrances from the brand clean myself and that's clean classic pure soap well that's the 10 that I have for you today and until next time do me a real quick favor go ahead and like comment subscribe I do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys What's some of the more affordable luxury fragrances you've had your eye on? Have you tried any of the ones that I featured here? Like I said before, I'll have links to everything down below uh, as best I can because they're all going to be under 100 bucks easily. That's some good stuff to add to your collection. If you're looking for quality on a budget, there might be something here for you. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the 10 fragrances that I've featured in this video and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.